What's going on guys? Apathetic here and today we're going to be going over the vendor roles for April 11th. So we're going to jump in and see what they got for us today. So for the Crucible Quartermaster, the B29 party favor role isn't bad. You're going to have Rodeo, Small Boar, and Counterbalance. Or I guess your other choice is Feather Mag. The only downside is both these things reduce your magazine size. So if you're going to go with this gun, you definitely want to be comfortable with a smaller magazine size. But talk about getting, you know, excited for just a second. At the surface, this roll looks amazing. You got Luck in the Chamber, Outlaw. But when you go in, oh my god, no rifled barrel. What? What? So close to being a god roll. Imagine if everybody was running around with the Outlaw, Luck in the Chamber, Rifled, Palindrome. This thing would be ridiculous. But, since it doesn't have it, it's not going to be really viable without that Rifled Barrel. Because at, the damage drop-off is just going to be too, way too much to deal with. Way too much to deal with. For Dead Orbit, the Extremal File 011 kind of popped out to me with Snapshot. Got either Small Bore, Rodeo, and then Hidden Hand. Definitely not a bad roll if you're looking for a decent auto rifle. Uh, another one that kind of popped out to me here again was Keystone, maybe? Uh, you got Quick Draw, Perfect Balance, and Crowd Control. So with Crowd Control, it's always a nice perk to help stream kills together. Overall, though, to be transparent, I'm really stretching with these two guns that I've mentioned. Other ones here, not very good. It's tough because Dead Orbit's guns at their core their core stats just aren't that good and it's they're so bad that the perks don't really even help them enough to make them super viable but these two not bad if you're looking to kind of experiment with some different guns all right guys and for future work cult, we're gonna start with the waltz i already picked this one up and did some testing myself so we've got high caliber perfect balance and counterbalance these two pair really nicely together because they're both stability increasing perks and with counterbalance really helping with that recoil direction it definitely definitely is a lot easier to use i've been really enjoying this particular role as of late definitely tried to pick this one up there was a one in a previous video i did where the role was decent as well this one is better this one is definitely better in my opinion because that other role i mentioned was missing stability this one has more of it I would definitely give this version of the waltz a try. Another weapon that looked pretty good to me was the wounded. And this seems like a kind of just decent overall scout um, that you can use. So we got snapshot, small bore, or outlaw, depending what you want to do. I would probably go with small bore maybe. Just a little bit extra stability, which I prefer. And then crowd control again, so you can string those kills together uh, when you get that increased damage after you kill one person. So definitely a good one to try out. As far as the wormwood, this roll this week not really good you got snapshot hand loaded which is still gonna help with a little bit of range here but compared to the perks the previous weeks i would say that that one was a little bit better this still isn't bad but it's not as good as the previous two weeks all right guys and for the vanguard quartermaster we have the continental so this one's definitely gonna be not bad roll you got rodeo Perfect balance, counterbalance, or from that first column you want hit, hit fire, you can use that as well. I'd probably go with these three top perks here, just because that's going to really help the stability and recoil pattern. So this one, again, another good auto rifle with pretty decent perks. You want to pick this up. If you're kind of just looking for a different auto, auto rifle to change it up. And then the other one that popped out to me was, again, the Parthion shot. So we got Secret Round, Perfect Balance, and Counterbalance. I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm a big fan of Counterbalance and how much it helps the recoil pattern. So this is definitely not a bad roll either. Because, again, the Parthion shot's biggest thing is stability. So when you get that Perfect Balance paired with that Counterbalance, you're getting that increased stability you need to make the gun that much more viable without hurting the magazine size. This magazine size is already what I would consider somewhat low. We don't want to go lower, in my opinion, than 27. Or what's going to happen is you're going to start running out of bullets in the middle of a kill and it's going to allow people to finish you off because you have to stop and reload so, so often. And for New Monarchy, the only one that really stuck out to me here was this first citizen uh and so the thing it has is extended mags you're gonna increase that magazine up from 77 which is already pretty large and you can either pair that with perfect balance or crowd control so again another way to string together kills really quickly and then hidden hands so you can get that better better target acquisition 
definitely would try this out as well just because it has a higher magazine and it's that very very high rate of fire so this is kind of nice because it's just one of those guns that feels like it has a never-ending clip and that's all i have for the video today guys make sure you like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and i'll catch you guys in the next one